I'm Bill Vensel. This is Chords of Orion, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to use software plugins to achieve heavenly ambient swells that sound like this. All right, let's get right down to it. First up, you're going to need yeah, a guitar. Now I'm using a baritone. It's a D'Angelico baritone. I'll have links to it in the video description below. I, I'll have links for everything that I talk about below. But really, just use whatever guitar you have because it's going to sound great. Next, you'll want to take your guitar and plug it into your computer's audio interface. And then fire up some recording software. I'm using Apple's Logic Pro. You can use whatever you have. Whatever kind of software you have to record audio is going to work just great. The next thing you'll want is an amp modeler. And this is just to kind of take the, the plain edge off the sound of the guitar. Now, I'm using Logic's out-of-the-box amp modeling software. There's a number of free amp modeler options out there. Again, link below. If you do have any kind of amp modeling software, it's going to sound great. I've got this set up to a Vox kind of sound. Here's, here's what it sounds like. Just really drop dead simple. That easy. All right, next up, you're going to want to download a free plugin if you haven't already done so called Chow Matrix. Again, links below. This is an amazingly awesome piece of software. It's a delay plugin that allows you to create very, very complex chains of multiple delays. Now, I don't want to go through these settings in detail, so let me just make it real big for you here so you can copy it if you do decide to download the plugin and set up something similar. As you can see, I've got eight parallel delays set up and they're panned in different ways. And they all have different, different delay times and they're all modulating delays. So they have like chorus involved in each delay. And here's what the entire preset sounds like. I love that sound a lot. After the Chow Matrix delay comes a Secret Sauce plugin that I will talk about in a moment. But after the Secret Sauce, we'll, we'll go with this one first, is another delay plugin. I'm using the Valhalla delay. And this is not a free plugin. You may know that. Um, and what I would be willing to bet is that your recording software, whether it's Logic or Reaper or FL Studio, whatever it might be, has a delay plugin that can do something similar. So I, I recommend getting the Valhalla delay. It's fabulous. But if you want to use a delay plugin you already have, you're going to be just fine. You may, mostly want to set it up for a stereo delay that's fairly long. Here's what this sounds like. As you can hear, it's probably, I don't know, about a two second delay or so. And there's some wow and flutter. This is a tape style delay. So if you're using a regular delay, you may want to add some modulation or something along those lines, but set up a nice sounding stereo delay and you'll be good to go. Finally, after that delay, again, we're gonna get back to the secret sauce plugin. But after that delay, you're going to want to add a reverb last in the chain. I'm using the Strymon Big Sky plugin, but you can use whatever reverb plugin you have. Here's what I have going on. Yeah, as you can hear, it's, it's a nice sounding reverb, but it's not 
it's not totally unique. So again, you can achieve similar sounds with whatever reverb plugin you have. This one is the non-linear setting and it's the Gauss option uh, of the Big Sky plugin. All right, to recap so far, we have our amp modeler, we have the Chow Matrix um, 8 parallel delay plugin, we have the Valhalla delay, whoops, there it is, set up to a longish delay. And then finally, we have the Big Sky Reverb plugin. Now, in between the Chow Matrix and the Valhalla delay, I have one other plugin. I'm going to get rid of these so I can kind of highlight it here. And it is the Phonolith Velvet Machine. I really like this plugin a lot. Now, there are other plugins that can do things similar to what the Velvet Machine does, but it is somewhat unique. It's basically a it's basically a reverby delay kind of plugin that basically can create granules of delays, and you can go from. Uh, one granule to up to like 20,000 granules to either have a really kind of choppy sounding set of delays or a very smooth sound. As you can see here, there's also an area where you can adjust the envelope of the delayed signal itself. So what I've got going on here, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but if you look at the settings, let me make it big for you, you can see I've got an overall delay or reverb time of a little over five seconds. We've got a density, so that's kind of the number, that's the amount of granules at 20 per second. Uh, high cut and low cut, we've got full fidelity going on. Uh, full stereo width, and the mix is set to 100%. So let me go ahead and turn off the Valhalla and the Big Sky, and let's see what the Velvet Machine sounds like. That's really nice. Now, so I can adjust that swell time, right, to come in quicker, or I can make it slower. Yeah, really, it's really nice. Now, what if I add in then the Valhalla delay and the reverb? Let's see what we get here. That sounds fantastic. So it's very complex, right? We've got the Chow Matrix providing those eight parallel delays. They're short delays, but smearing the sound some. And we have that going through the Velvet Machine, creating this granulated or granular kind of delay, almost reverby kind of sound. And that's being fed into the Valhalla delay, which is actually delaying the entire sound in a stereo kind of back and forth fashion, followed by some reverb. So, are volume pedals overrated? Nah. <laughs> I don't think they're overrated at all. I will never get rid of mine. They're amazing. However, you can create beautiful ambient swells by just using software plugins and no volume pedal. And I, I think this particular combination is a really good example of some of the things that you can do and think about. Drop a comment and let me know what kinds of plugins that you use to achieve beautiful ambient swells and i'll see all of you on the next video <laughs>